Hi guys, it's Lauren here from Veed, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit your Instagram Reels like a pro. I'm gonna share with you my top secret insider info that I received directly from Instagram on what makes a great Reel, which helped my numbers go from this to this. Then we're gonna move on to how to make your Reels start to finish on the app. However, because a lot of the features that I'm about to show you, they're not available globally just yet, I'm also going to show you the perfect way that you can edit your reels like a pro on your desktop, and it's got even more features that you can choose from. So let's begin. To kickstart creating your reels with the highest potential to reach your target audience, I'm going to share with you my Instagram insider tips. I'm not going to gatekeep, this information comes straight from the horse's mouth. This is information all from an Instagram employee. So here is tip number one. Your your reels need to fit into these categories. They need to make someone's day. You need to make people engage with your content so that they can share and rewatch and like. Now your reels, they also need to be relatable, relevant or inspiring. The next tip is to follow accounts that inspire you and that are related to your target niche audience. Now this is going to tell the algorithm what you're about and it's going to push your reels out to other people who also follow these accounts too. In order to see any kind of real growth or traction on Instagram, you do need to be posting reels consistently. So pick how many reels a week that you're comfortable with and then commit to that until you feel like you're ready to change it. Use a strong hook that has a surprise or a twist. You really only have three seconds to capture somebody's attention. Jump on trends. So you're going to utilize audio that's already on Instagram and you're going to check out any audio that catches your attention and also audio that has the upward arrow to indicate that it's trending. Then you can check how many reels have utilized that sound for an idea of its audience. So if you do find a trending song and the audience isn't in the hundreds of thousands just yet, jump on it right away. Lastly, there's no best number of hashtags, but keep it no more than five to 10 hashtags and only include those that are most relevant to the content of your reel. So you want to think about what people would search for if they wanted to find your content and also take a look at what other creators in your community are using, find the hashtags that they're using and then use the trending ones and the ones that's relevant to you. Okay, so that is all of my insider tips that I have for you. With that in mind, we are now going to edit an Instagram reel like a pro on the app. So I've got my app open and I'm going to hit the reels icon, then tap the camera in the top right corner. Firstly, let's go through our settings. So we can choose any song here by clicking on the music note. You're going to type in the track, then select the song and you can drag it to the left or to the right to find the portion that you want to use. Once you have it, click done. The next thing we can add is a filter. So tap on the sparkles and then tap on any of the filters here to test them out. Then you're going to choose your favorite. Next, we have layout, and this is if you want to record yourself in sections and divide out the screen. So click change grid, and then you've got six different options. Under that, we have green screen. So after recording yourself, you can easily switch out the background for a photo or video from your camera roll. Next is add yours. And this is those for adding in those prompts. You know, the ones where people share certain memories online and then you can add on to somebody else's or you can choose to start your own. Then we have dual, which is where you can record on both iPhone cameras, the front and the back all at once. And the last feature is really, really cool. It's hand control where you can stop and start your camera recording simply by putting your hand up. Or if you prefer, you can always set a timer. Just hit the clock at the top of the screen and then set it to three or 10 seconds. This is going to just give you time to get in position before filming. So that's all of the settings. You can now go ahead, hit the record button to start your reel. Or if you've already got your video saved in your camera roll, hit the square icon in the bottom left corner. Then choose the video for your reel and hit next. You can push in the sides to trim your clip and you can tap on the times one button to change the speed of your video, then hit next. To add another video onto the end of this one, hit add clips and repeat the same process. If you want to do add or change the music, hit the video on screen, then hit the music note. Search for the song, choose the section you want and hit done. If you have audio on your video and you actually want to keep it with the music, just hit the music note again, then hit controls and you can turn up the camera audio. To give your reel a text title, hit the double A icon and then type out your text. Above your keyboard, you can choose any of the fonts you see and then hit the color wheel up the top to change the color of your text. Now you can use two fingers and you can make your text bigger or smaller and you can place it anywhere on screen. Just be mindful here, you do want to keep it within the safe zone so that it remains visible throughout the entirety of your reel. Now, if you're speaking in your reel, you can add captions by clicking the smiley face and then tapping the captions button. You do have a few more editing options here by clicking edit video. Down the bottom, if I swipe over, you can add a GIF, you can add a sticker and you can record a voiceover. Once you're happy with all of your options and your reel is ready, hit next. 
click edit cover and then you can choose a still from your reel or you can choose a photo from your camera roll. Once selected, hit profile grid so you can get a preview of what that's going to look like on your profile. Now if your head is cut off, move the photo up or down to change what fits in the frame. Click done, add your caption, add your hashtags, remember 5 to 10 is going to do the job. Tag anybody in your reel and then you're going to scroll down to add topics and then select three topics that's related to your reel. This is again going to help your reel reach your niche audience. Then you're going to add your location for the reel. Again, this is going to help if somebody searches up that location. If your Instagram and Facebook are connected, be sure to share it there also to get more eyes on your reel. Lastly, hit next to post your reel and that's it. That is how to edit an Instagram reel within the app. However, if you don't have access to all of those features or if you're like me and you shoot the majority of your content horizontally for YouTube, then the editing reels on the app is, well, it's really an impossible task. So I'm now going to show you how I edit my reels on the desktop using Veed. You can just click the link in the description to get started. After you've uploaded your video in settings here, you'll see size. Scroll down until you see Instagram Reels, click that and it instantly resizes my video. Now for me, this is perfect, but if you do want to change what fits inside the frame, you can play around with the corner and side toggles. To add a second clip, click media in the toolbar and then click upload a file. Just repeat the same process as before, you're going to upload it and then change what fits inside the frame and you can do this as many times as you like. Now once all of the clips are uploaded, we can go ahead and we can add our music, but we do want to turn off the original audio on my first clips. So what I'm going to do is click the clip on the timeline and then click on the speaker to switch off the audio and then I can just do that for any remaining clips in my timeline. And the next thing I want to do is I want to add text to speech because I obviously have an accent and sometimes on Instagram my audience struggles to understand what I'm saying. So using text to speech is a great alternative for me and it saves me having to record a voiceover. So I'm now going to click audio and if you don't want to use text to speech you can always click voice clone and you can literally clone your own voice and then type out anything that you want it to say in your own voice. But for me I do want to use text to speech so I'm going to click that and then I'm going to choose my language and now choose my speaker. And now I'm going to type in my text and I can just hear a preview of it for five seconds. Now if you're happy with that you can click add project. Having a text title here for the first few seconds of a reel that's really going to help our hook. So we're going to use this now to grab our viewers attention. Click text in the toolbar and then click headline title. Now delete what's in the text box and type out your hook text. Next you can choose any font, size, color, effect or animation for your text. And once you're happy with how it looks, click hold and drag it into position. And again, remember to keep within the safe zone so that it stays visible. Then on your timeline here, you can shorten or extend the length of time that text stays on screen by pulling it to the left or to the right. Now you can always wait to add music within Instagram's app after exporting your reel, but as we know, a lot of the time Instagram removes tracks and leaves us with a silent reel which really impacts our growth. So instead, we're going to use copyright free music from Veed's library of stock audio. Now full disclosure, if you're on the free plan, not every single track is going to be available to you. So we're going to click audio in the left hand column, click search, and here you can take your time to listen and find the right music for your reel. Once your track uploads, you'll see it underneath your video in the timeline. Push your audio over to the left so that your music and reel end in sync. And if you need to lower down the volume, you can drag the volume bar over to the left. Now our reel is looking perfect, so let's export it. Click done in the top right hand corner, click quality, choose your render settings, and then click back and hit export video. We're going to give that a moment here to render. Once it's done, we can watch it back to see how it turned out. This is how much I spent over 48 hours in Positano. Lastly, click download and download MP4. And that's it. That's how to edit an Instagram reel within the app and how to edit it using Veed on the desktop. I really hope you found this video helpful, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.